Hi everyone, today I'm here at Circuit Makati and I brought my wind turbine with me. This is a pretty good day because there's a lot of wind here. Um, in my previous video I had some technical difficulties so the audio didn't sound that good and I wasn't really able to show you exactly what this wind turbine can do. When it gets up to speed you should see that this light bulb comes on. Um, you should be able to see it. even though it's such a sunny day you'll be able to see this light bulb light up. Now this is a 110 to 220 volt AC light bulb and this wind turbine actually outputs AC electricity. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, this is actually a ceiling fan. This costs 140 pesos, which is around two Great British Pounds or three US dollars. So it's really cheap. The rest of this is just PVC tubing. Um, this one is for water, this one is for electrical. I mentioned some of this in my previous video, but I wanted to go into more detail in this video. Uh, at the back we've got this cardboard fin. What this does is it catches the wind and it makes sure that the blades are always facing into the wind. Now typical, the very moment that I started my camera is the moment that the wind has disappeared, but I'm sure it will be coming back and when it does you'll see this thing in action. Now while we're waiting for the wind, let me bring it closer so you can see what I actually did. Now this is the original ceiling fan and all I did was remove the mounting that goes into the ceiling. It was like a bulb shape and then I used a couple of screws to mount it to this PVC tubing. Let me see if I can show you. I know this video isn't the best quality because I've got a really bright background and it's a little bit darker here so I know it's not the best condition. So what I did was drill through the PVC tubing, drill through the shaft of the ceiling fan and then connect them together so it holds the shaft in place but the front can still spin. Now as for the wiring all I've done is added some additional wire so that it's longer but this is the output directly from the fan, the ceiling fan, without any kind of regulation. So the output is somewhere between 100 and 200 volts AC so it is high voltage so you have to be careful when you're working with this. Now like I mentioned in my previous video the intention is actually to regulate the electricity and to store it in a battery either a 12 volt lead acid battery or a lithium ion battery. So you can see the wind is currently pushing this around and hopefully this will catch the wind. It's not the best fin at the back because you can see it's actually a little bit off angle. It would it would be much better if that was straighter but this is the best I could do. I mean it's not the best I could do but I kind of put this thing together quickly just as a proof of concept. So I've now moved locations to the other side of the building and I think it's a bit windier here so let's wait if the wind comes along. Hopefully it will. So it looks like we got some good wind coming along now. Let's wait for the turbine to catch it. It makes a really nice satisfying noise when it's windy, when it's spinning. Now of course this would actually have to be mounted so that it could be rigid because right now I'm actually like letting it push back. Wow that's really strong. I don't know if you can see because it's so sunny here but it is lighting up the light bulb and you can see the ceiling fan spins very smoothly so I don't think it will have any problems handling even like quite heavy winds. I really need to find a better test instrument because showing this light bulb in high sunlight just doesn't work very well. It does light up but you can barely see it because it's so sunny. Um, but I wanted to make another video because the last one really wasn't very impressive. The audio was really bad, it was kind of rushed um, and there wasn't that much wind whereas now we've got a somewhat consistent wind. Some people were asking me how much power does it actually generate? Well when it's going at a good speed you're looking at around 3 to 4 watts which might not sound like a lot but if you store that in a battery you can use it later to charge cell phones and to power some basic LED lighting. So it's actually enough power, to, like if you're stuck in the province where the power is always going out or you're having rolling brown Outs. This is actually something that you can make yourself around five US dollars and then maybe another five or ten dollars for the battery and the charging stuff and then you would have something that as long as there's wind you can still charge your cell phone. Now I mentioned earlier about charging batteries. This is a lithium ion battery, it's a 14500 and I don't know how well you can see on camera but there's a little green light here, let me see if I can show you. So hopefully you can see there the red light come on to indicate that it's charging and that thing is spinning really fast. Although I just realized on the camera it looks like it's kind of green but no I assure you that is red. So that is actually charging this battery right now. Sorry if my audio isn't very good it's probably also picking up some of the wind but it is strong enough to actually charge a lithium ion battery. Um, so that potentially gives us options of charging power banks and things like that like USB power banks that we can then later use for our cell phones and stuff like that. Now as great as Circuit Makati is, and I love the fact that I can go here and shoot my video without any problems. Wow, this wind is incredible. It's pushing me backwards. Um, as much as I love Circuit Makati, they really need to do something about all the kids that are running around with no parents. I assume the kids that live in the area, but they're really like creating a big nuisance. They're screaming all the time. I mean, I could understand it out in the field or the park, but like around the mall, it's just too much. Wow, this thing's really going. It's giving it some. And the output of this, like I said, is around three to four watts, which is pretty reasonable. 
You probably can't see on the camera, but it is charging it. So I'm actually charging my lithium ion battery right now. And since the wind is cooperating, I decided to connect the light bulb again. Um, like I said, because it's so sunny, you can't really see it light up that well, but it is lighting up and you can see it has no problem turning in the wind because the wind direction is changing. But because of that back fin, it catches the wind and makes sure it's always facing against the wind. So that was just a quick update video. I still need to do like, I might even do like a full build how to make this. If anyone's interested, let me know in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I'm always having problems shooting these videos because you're relying on the wind and there's not that much in Metro Manila right now. Plus I'm shooting in a public space. So, you know, people come along and they just scream or they walk behind the camera or they start shouting. Um, it's incredible. Like it's so difficult to shoot in public. But if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.